Johnny and a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody, as once more we're going to pick up our Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB 15, the show. So as you know, it's the all-star game. We went through the home run derby with Jose Reyes, lost in the first round. It was disappointing, whatever. But here we go. We're going to view the game, and it looks like Madison Bumgarner against A.J. Griffith. We're on the American side, so we're just going to look for all-star starters, and it looks like Aaron Sanchez, in his first year in the MLB as a full-time starter, is an all-star. Anyone else? Doesn't look like anyone else made it, so that's a little disappointing, but we'll uh, go through with Aaron Sanchez. Jose Reyes makes it to the all-star game, of course, hello. And anyone else? Doesn't, oh, Josh Donaldson made it. Perfect. That's what I like to see. And that's about it, it looks like. All right, guys. So Josh Donaldson, Jose Reyes, and Aaron Sanchez are all-stars in 2015. That's my prediction. You'll see how Puig's an all-star over in the NL. Well, that kind of figures. So we're going to simulate up to the Kansas game. And then we will... No, 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 confusing me here. Um, activate. There we go. Perfect. So Norris is coming back soon. Uh, Travis Kelsey, Bison's auto fix lineups. The Braves are interested in offering us a trade. All right. Deonor Navarro for Thomas Adondre. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. An A potential closer who has 40 saves down in double A. Ooh, that's that's good. You know what? Yano Navarro, key piece. We can fill him in. This is what I was talking about. Possibly trade away Navarro. Final year of his deal. This guy is in the 70k, he won't want much. Yeah, let's go ahead and accept this trade. So that means now we have to manage rosters. Because we only have 24 men. And that means Max Pentecost is going to be moved up to the MLB after he gets added to our 40 man roster. Move to MLB. There we go. So we have another rookie on the team. He's been performing very well down in AAA. And now let's see what we've got for the team. At DH will be Justin Smoke. But Michael Saunders will move up. Actually, Devin Travis is going to move up into the five hole. Michael Saunders. Stay in the seven hole, and Justin Smoke can be in DH at eight, which is where he's been playing most of his games so far this year. So here we go. Let's get to that Kansas game. Auto fix lineups. Daniel Norris. There we go. Place on bench, and I'm gonna get him back into the rotation. Uh, where's the rotation? Marco Estrada. There we go. Daniel Norris back into the rotation. He'll be good to go soon. And Jose Bautista is back. Oh, boy. Here we go. Everybody's coming back. Yeah, Jays are getting ready for a run now. Uh, Michael Saunders go into left field. And Kevin Pilar down. Bautista, Encarnacion. Russell Martin. Dalton Pompey. Justin Smoke, Devin Travis, there we go. And Jose Bautista. Oh shit, now I screwed up. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Devin Travis in second base, Michael Saunders. That's the lineup I want right there. And Kevin Pillar, you're going down there. Josh Donaldson, 
Kevin Travis, Russell Martin, and Michael Saunders. There we go. Bingo. Bingo. All right, guys. Um, what else can I update you on? It looks like everyone's doing rather well so far this uh, year, so that's good news. And you know what? Now that the uh, lineups are fixed, oh, we still got to fix the 26-man or 25-man roster, which means we have to send somebody down. And that somebody is going to be... You know what? It's going to be... Steve Tollison. There we go. He's down in AAA now. And we're, oh, you've got to be kidding me. We just get this fixed. Okay. This, this is kind of getting ridiculous here, guys. I'm trying to do an episode, and we are just doing nothing at all. So here we go. There and there. Bingo. Max Pentecost. Bingo. We'll simulate up. And now we're winning games. That's what I like to see. Uh, 15 to ADL. Win. Win. 59 and 44. Beautiful. Today is the trade deadline. That's nice. And we are one game ahead of the Red Sox. So guys, I'm going to stop the record here. Pick it up in the game. I'll tell you who we're player locked with. And then we'll be good to go. Catch you guys in a few seconds. Hey, howdy and a big welcome back, guys. Of course, you know we just went from our first half of the episode. This is the second half of the episode, just uh, the way my game capture records. I can't really go over 10 minutes without running into a glitch. So here is our gameplay action, which is Jose Bautista. He's over in right field, back from injury. He's on a cold spell. We're hoping for good things. So let's go Toronto Blue Jays, franchise mode. They are in... First place by half a game. A victory here is crucial. They need to get ahead of, Tam or of Boston. Everyone else is so far back there, they don't even matter. I mean, it's the Jays and weirder things have happened, but for the most part, we should be sustainable for the rest of the season if we can separate ourselves from Boston. So here we go. Let's get right into it. Bautista batting in the three hole, nobody on. He's had, oh, last four games, 0 for 15. Not a good season so far. He's looking for something upstairs. He's going to take first pitch and drive it. This one's deep, out into right field. Going back, going back, and up against the warning track. The right fielder for the Kansas City Royals makes the catch. That would have been Alex Rios, the former J. Here we go, Bautista in right field, he's going to get ready for the fastball pitch, so he should be late on it, he's going to shoot it right, look at that, you couldn't have timed that better, look at that, Bautista right into the glove, no problem there, and he makes an easy catch for the out. Now with Jose Reyes on second base, Bautista needs a good pitch, he got that sinker mid-plate last pitch. He needs something high and inside to drive. And he's going to look at that fastball in the zone for strike number one. A good take there by Bautista. Joey Bass showing some patience at the plate after that first pitch out. And then a really bad swing, but it gets away and Jose Reyes advances. So Bautista has a runner only 90 feet away and Vol Volquez needs a good pitch here, even though he's got Bautista down 0-2. Here comes the pitch, and it's a curveball that Bautista is just a little bit early on. If you're wondering what these jerseys are, I chose one of the retro jerseys from the Jays collection. I thought, why not? It, they seem pretty cool. And that's just fouled off again early by Bautista. So he's gotten himself into a four-pitch at bat where he hasn't taken a ball yet. Really needs to do that here, but can't afford to with two strikes. Another pitch down the line. That one was a change-up that he just was a little bit too early on. Could have used a little bit more patience. 
and strikes out on the changeup right there. So six pitch at bat, swinging at everything, but at least made it to a six pitch at bat. The Blue Jays are ahead six or three nothing in the bottom of the sixth. But Bautista needs a good at bat here to get on board. And that'll be a ball. So there we go. The first ball Bautista's taken all game. I like that they finally have that Rogers sign at Rogers Center. Don't oh oh see, I'm gonna own that one. That was just me not expecting the curveball there at all. That one got me fooled tons. And good and then good timing and I foul it off, of course. You know, that works that way, right? Here we go. And early on the curveball, that'll put us down one and two. Poor pitch at bat, not bad. So it'll be a five pitcher, no matter what. And this will be a base hit. Joey Bath gets aboard for the first time in 18 plate appearances. And that is huge for Joey Bath. And that knocks the pitcher out of the game. Then Carnacion comes in, and we're not going to run the bases. Well, maybe we should now, now that we're in the scoring position, but uh, we'll still skip to the next appearance. Oh, now base is loaded for Danny Valencia, who's getting the at-bat at second base in this one. And he comes through in the clutch, driving home a run, and the Jays extend the lead 4 to nothing. Bautista now batting in the bottom of the seventh with a chance. Maybe blow it open if he can get a home run here. So 1 0 the count. And in comes the pitch. Oh, and Joey Bath's goodbye home run right there. Take the curveball and just yank it to left field. That couldn't have come simpler for Joey Bath. Now he's out in right field. And this should be the last out of the game. If he can make the catch here. This one's deep, this one's deep. That one's off the wall. Oh, shit. Wrong place to throw to. That will hurt him as, oh yeah, there we go, home run. Mark Burley had the chance at a complete game, and Jose Bautista just ruined it. I mean, a home run was going to happen if he got a single or a double, but still. Now Aaron Loop has a chance, and no way. No way. There we go. Back-to-back -back home runs. And this got a little bit brutal, but Max Pentecost, our fill-in catcher, Goes 3-for-3 three three with two doubles and an RBI, so he's doing all right. Guys, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Toronto Blue Jays Franchise Mode. As always, if you're new, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, leave a like on the video. We'll catch you next time, guys. So long from Yak City.